everybody, I am Katie Varvis and you are watching The Unemployed Graduate, the show where I talk to you about news and issues that matter to me and hopefully you guys too. And today is the weekly news roundup. This week, the brother of Sinn Féin leader Jerry Adams was sentenced to 16 years in prison. Liam Adams had previously been found guilty of abusing his eldest daughter Anya more than 30 years ago. Adams was sentenced to 16 years in prison, with two years of probation upon his release. If he serves his full term, he will be 74 when he's released. Fiona Neary, the director of the Rape Crisis Network, said Anya Adams has spent decades holding firm to the truth about her father's abuse of her in incredibly difficult circumstances. Anya accused Sinn Féin, and specifically her uncle Jerry Adams, of trying to silence her and save the party embarrassment. Jerry Adams knew for nine years and kept the abuse silent. In an interview with News Talk Breakfast, Jerry Adams said, When trying to do your best in a very dark situation, it's hard to get it right all the time. But for one second, leave behind the politics and ask yourself, is the best good enough when it comes to child sexual abuse? Adams said that he tried to deal with the matter in a private capacity, just within the family. But I want to clarify something here. This is not a private matter. This is a criminal matter. For all these years that Anya was silenced and her father walked around a free man, I wonder, should he even have been allowed around other children? Jerry Adams did not inform any other member of the community to ensure that his brother did not abuse other children around him. Now, I'm not saying that his brother did abuse other children. I am saying Jerry Adams, not even in the most basic level, like at the local sports club, tried to protect other children when he knew his brother Liam should not be around children. There is an ongoing review over whether to prosecute Jerry Adams, but what do you guys think? Does he deserve a sentence, or was he really doing his best in a dark situation? Which brings me to my next story, and that is all the way to New Jersey, where a gay waitress's receipt went viral. Not only did the customers refuse to leave a tip, but then wrote... American citizens who were shocked by this hate message sent in dozens of tips. And here's the twist in the story. So a family contacted the local news station claiming that their receipt was surprisingly similar to the one that had gone viral. The husband and wife produced a receipt that came out on the same day at the same time and for the exact same $93.55. But their receipt did not include a hate message. In fact, it included a very generous $18 tip. The couple believed that their receipt could have been used as a hoax. The waitress told the news station that she certainly did not receive a tip and that this was definitely the receipt she received. And the couple believed this could all have begun with a misunderstanding. They said they thought the hostess who sat the family told them the server's name would be Dan. And when Morel showed up at their table, they exclaimed, Whoa, you're not Dan. According to the couple, the rest of the meal with the two children went fine. Nonetheless, Morel said she is still going to give all the money she has received to the Wounded Warriors charity. And lastly, it is American Thanksgiving, so on today's show, I wanted to give thanks to America for all these things. Basketball, Chicken Legend, Jurassic Park, The Hells, Landon Donovan, Peanut Butter, Nicolas Cafe. Which brings us to the question of the day, and today we are asking, what is the best thing America has brought here? All you have to do is leave your comments in the comment box below. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and of course subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I am Katie Barbas, just another unemployed graduate.